Okay, so now uh, we have disconnected the upper and lower heating elements. We've tested them. We've found out that we've got, we found two readings on the heating elements. The top heating element was 13.0 on the ohms reading, and the bottom heating element was 13.2 on the ohms reading, and ohms is resistance. So now what I'm going to do is just show you how easy it is to take out one of these heating elements. Uh, we've, first of all, we've got to have a heating element wrench, and it's just a larger form of a socket. It's got a uh, O caption in here, so I can slide either a screwdriver or a wrench through here so I can get torque and turn this. And what I mean by that is I'll take a screwdriver, slide it through so I can get torque and turn and get this heating element out. So what I'm going to do is slide this over the heating element and before I do this again before I do this I'm shutting off the water or I'm shutting off the power first I'm shutting off the water I'm testing the heating element to make sure there's nothing there no voltage so therefore I can't draw amperage and then I'm going to drain the tank to get below where I'm going to release an oh, or, 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 or actually create an opening in this tank so my water level should be right here, okay, and it's kind of a trial and error. I'd start to release this and turn this heating element out. I got to make sure I press in tight, press in, turn to release this heating element. Once I get it to where I can just hand, uh, hand loosen this, get the torque out, I can just slowly wrench out the heating element and pull it out and I'm going to take a visual of it first okay I can see there's not a lot of corrosion on the heating element so therefore it should be in good shape uh, I can also see there's a little rubber gasket here and this is actually what seals this connection up so when I thread this back in this rubber gasket makes contact with the tank I, I tighten that and I squeeze that together and that seals that connection, okay? And I can also tell that my, when I drain the tank, it, it is actually below the first heating element because there's no water coming out. If I was to start to loosen this and I see water seeping out, I'm going to tighten it back up, and I'm going to drain the tank more, okay? So now what I'm going to do is um, I looked at this. I've already tested it. This is the top heating element. It was at 13.0, okay? So I've written all the figures down here for you. We looked at the plate on the tank. It was 4,500 connected watts. Voltage was 240, and we tested for our ohms reading on both of our heating elements. So let's do the math, okay? Watts, here's some formulas for you up here. Watts divided by volts equals amps. So... 4,500 divided by 240 equals 18.75, okay? That's my amps. So I just found my amps. 18.75 amps, okay, is our reading. Now I've got, I've got watts, volts, I've got amps. So if we look at the formula up here, volts divided by amps equals ohms. So now we have to perform that function. Okay, so now we're looking at our uh, formula here. Right, this is our voltage, 240, okay? And it's, two, it's voltage divided by amperage equals ohms. So we're going to make sure this is proper. So 240 volts divided by 18.75 amps equals 12.8 on the ohms, the resistance. So if I look at my heating elements, I've got 13 and 13.2. They're legit. They're fine. I tested them. I did the math. Everything's good. So I eliminated the process of my heating elements being bad. Now all I have to do is unclip my thermostat and put a new thermostat in. It's really simple. There's two clips on the side. I'm going to push them in, pull it out, 
and put a new thermostat in. And I should have nice, lukewarm, too hot water.